You have a lot of power. It's it's a lot, right? Which means you need respons responsibility. It's like Spider-Man. But I don't want to become like so like squeaky clean that it's like not fun anymore. One of my favorite quotes is this. When the pain of staying the same becomes greater than the fear of change, we will change. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull things from the YouTube community and pop culture to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, um, just so you all know, anybody who's been around for a while and you're like, when are the Shane Dawson videos gonna finish? I am going to try to wrap up all of my Shane Dawson content by Sunday. Speaking of Sunday, we are doing our very first charity live stream pretty much all day Sunday right here on the YouTube channel. So make sure that you have the notification bells turned on. This charity live stream is gonna be for our amazing editor, Zach, to help out his family during this rough time. So I will be on for most of the day. Tristan might be popping in, Dylan might be popping in. We'll be answering mental health questions. We'll be playing Fortnite. We'll be doing all sorts of crazy stuff. I don't know why I hyped that up like a wrestler, but anyways, just be here on Sunday. Anyways. So yeah, I'm gonna try to wrap up all the Shane content, but there's so many important lessons and it's just the eyeballs are there and I can take this to try to teach you guys some stuff. So this is a very important topic. So in, in the last uh, video, um, the finale, in this, Inside the Mind of Jake Paul, like Shane and Jake were having this conversation and Shane was kind of like asking or talking to him and asking him about like toning it down and things like that. And Jake said something that I think a lot of a lot of you can relate to, where he was saying like, I'm worried that, you know, if I do this, I'll be too watered down and I won't be me anymore. And like, I can definitely relate to that. I can relate to that so much. And this is actually something one of my friends asked me about not too long ago. So I have a really, really good friend and she was, uh, she was messaging me, she was asking me about depression and things like that. And you know, I was just like, when I ask everybody, I'm like, have you considered like therapy or anything? And she told me, she's like, one of the fears I have is that if I do therapy, it's gonna change who I am. I'm not gonna be me anymore. And like, I was like, man, I can definitely relate to that. So if you're watching this, you might be someone where this, you have this fear, like your, your, your pain in your life is so great, but you're afraid to change. For example, I know that there are certain people with like, uh, bipolar disorder, where they're afraid to take medications because they feel it would take away from the good things that they experience during mania, like their creativity, their energy, and all of that. So like, this is something that's really, really important for us to talk about. And I, I wanna share some of my experience about this. So those of you who don't know me, I am a recovering drug addict and alcoholic. I've been clean for six years. So I had so much fear of change. So I, I personally got clean through 12 step programs, even though I kind of like diversify my recovery today and try to give people like alternatives and stuff like that, whatever works for you, baby. But anyways, like 12 step programs are what helped me get clean. And 12 step programs obviously have the steps. And like when I came in, when I came into the program, I had like these ideas about myself in there. And like, I knew I had to change. I knew I, I had to change. Not only was I addicted to drugs and alcohol, I wasn't allowed to see my son. Friends and family hated me. I was broke, had no job. I was dying, I had an oxygen tank. Everything was bad. Like everything in my life was bad, but I needed to change, right? But I went to these meetings and I just saw how happy everybody was. And they were like hugging and smiling and talking about forgiveness and all this like tra-la-la mushy stuff. And I'm like, no, I don't wanna do that. I'm like, these steps, doing these steps are gonna turn me into a wuss and I don't wanna be a wuss, right? Like that was my fear of change. I thought that if I worked this program, if I got better, if I healed myself mentally and spiritually, that I would become some kind of person that gets walked all over, right? Because we talk about, you know, kindness and compassion and empathy and forgiveness and tolerance and patience and all these other things. Like, while those all sound good on paper, like, I don't wanna be somebody who gets walked all over. Now, I think the first thing that we need to talk about, if any of you can relate to that, is 
this, this fear of being mistreated, right? That's something that I had to get over. I had to get over this fear of being mistreated. I think the misconception that a lot of people have, especially when trying to like better themselves, is that just by practicing more empathy and kindness and compassion, we're gonna turn, we're, it's gonna make us feel weak, right? We're gonna be weak and let people walk all over us. But like, there's a balance that comes with it. Like, I talk a lot on this channel about boundaries, right? So like, while I'm patient, tolerant, loving, and understanding, like, I set up boundaries with people. I've just made videos about not caring what people think. Like, it's these two polar opposite things, seemingly, right? Where I care about everybody, but I also don't care about anything. You know what I mean? And like, that's a great place to be. I get to pick and choose what I'm going to let affect me, right? So it's important to set up boundaries, but also practice a little empathy. Like something I always say, something I always say is that I love everybody, but I don't like everybody. And that's one of the boundaries I set up. Like, I don't have to like you. I don't have to hang out with you. I don't gotta go over to your house for dinner. We don't gotta go on vacation together. I don't gotta pick up your phone calls. I don't gotta answer your text messages. I don't gotta answer your DMs. I still love you as a human being. I have empathy that I'm sorry that you're a jerk. I'm sorry that you're hurting. I'm sorry that there's something inside of you that makes you act the way that you do. But for me and my boundaries, I don't have to put up with that stuff. And that's something that I learned. So there's so many parts of ourselves that we wanna cling onto. And something that helped me out was taking a personal inventory. So a lot of people are afraid to take this personal inventory. They feel like it's gonna beat themselves up, but it's not just dissecting yourself and writing down basically what an inventory is. Take a piece of paper, right? Take a piece of paper, draw a list down the middle, write down all of your good qualities, write down all of your bad qualities or qualities that you would like to change, right? So for me, for example, the qualities I had was, you know, like I'm very kind and compassionate and you know, I think about others and all this other stuff. But on the other side of that, like the negative things that I wish I, you know, that, that kind of get me in trouble is I always speak my mind. I always tell people what I think. I'm always, I'm very stubborn. Like these are, these are bad qualities that my brain tricks me into thinking are good qualities. So basically I looked at this list, I'm like, okay, let's just do a little house cleaning. How about I keep all the good things that are helping me progress in life and I get rid of all the bad things that are, um, that are holding me back or causing problems with my relationships. So for any of you out there who are struggling and you're afraid to get help, if you're afraid to go to therapy, if you're afraid of going on any kind of mental health journey, please listen to what I'm saying. This is not changing everything about you. It is just some house cleaning. You are looking at the parts of yourself that are causing you emotional or uh, mental or spiritual, whatever kind of pain that you're having, right? Like one of my favorite sayings is, pain is inevitable, suffering is optional. I know so many people, I know so many people who live in their suffering, right? That's why I say we talk about the problem but focus on the solution because we're all gonna experience pain. We're all gonna experience pain at some point in our lives, whether it's a loss of a loved one, loss of uh, you know, uh, a relationship, loss of uh, a job or money or whatever. These things are gonna happen. I hate to burst your bubble. These things will happen to you, okay? But we get to choose whether or not we suffer. We get to choose whether or not we sit in that pain. We get to choose whether we wanna sit in the self-pity and the loathing, or if we wanna make changes and start progressing in our life. And that's what I try to empower all of you to do. Like, I am so, so, so sorry for anything that you've been through recently or in your past, but today is the day where you start to make changes and move forward and start healing. And one thing I wanna do is take these last few minutes to give a huge shout out to one of my loyal subscribers. Her name is Karen. And Karen just made a video over on her channel. I'm gonna link it down in the description. Go check her out, go subscribe. But she watched my video about um, me saying I'm a Shane Dawson butt kisser and how to not care what people think, right? So this ties into what I'm saying, like caring that people are gonna think I'm soft or I'm a wuss or da 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 da, da right? And what Karen talks about in her video is that, you know, she she backed away from YouTube and she's, uh, you know, worried about other things in her, you know, even professional life because she's cared too much about what people think. And like, man, I can't tell you how much this type of video warms my heart. Like, I know sometimes I suck at getting back to DMs. I try to be in the comments as much as possible. Tristan helps me too. But like, when you guys message me and like, you tell me, that something I, I put in a video like helped impact your life in some way, like that makes everything worth it. That makes every hate comment worth it. That makes every 
everything worth it. All the people who say, oh, you're just a drama channel because people like Karen and a lot of you see what I'm doing. You see that I'm taking something that you can relate to and, and teach you something to improve your mental health. And I um, really love his approach to talking about mental health. He uses YouTube pop culture to talk about um, some topics that are maybe difficult or complicated or that maybe people might not want to really talk about. So, you know, believe it or not, as much as I don't care what people think, that kind of stuff really helps me out. So I love when you all do it. And like, I was just telling Tristan, right? Because she's the one who sent me Karen's video. Tristan made a promise to Karen that she would watch the video. Tristan watched the video, sent it to me. And like, I was just telling Tristan, like, I want to, I want to do this. I want to make this a community. I love being involved with all of you. Every problem that I see with YouTube, like, I, I, I made a video not long ago that nobody watched. It was called Be the Change You Want to See in the World. I see so many problems with YouTube, and I want to be the change that I want to see. And part of that change is connecting with all of you as much as possible, staying involved with you as much as possible, promoting you as much as possible and what you do. So do me a favor, go check out Char uh, uh, Karen's channel. Why did I mess up her name? Go check out Karen's channel. It's linked down in the description below. All right, but anyways. That's all I got for you with this video, but let's leave some comments down below. Are you afraid of change? Are you afraid of bettering yourself? Do you think that you're gonna become a different person by changing, all right? Let's talk about it in the comments below. Anyways, again, that's all I got. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because tomorrow, on Sunday, we are doing a charity live stream for our beautiful editor, Zach, all right? Huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel all over on Patreon, and if you would like to support the channel, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Don't be afraid to change. I'll see you next time.